Hey y'all, Bill the How To Guy here. Feel free to subscribe at youtube.com forward slash Bill the How To Guy because Bill will show you how to. Hey y'all, Bill the How To Guy here. Now what I'm going to demonstrate today, and you can see that's a 27 inch iMac. It's actually the iMac that was released uh, late 2009. And beside it, I've got my MacBook Air, the new MacBook Air with Ivy Bridge. Now, there's a big gap on my wall there because I used to have an external display. But what I've done, and I've accomplished this by purchasing a, uh, a mini, dis mini display port cable, uh, just some cheap, generic, uh, Chinese-made stuff, and I've included a link within this video's description. I got this magnificent cable uh, for a few dollars off of uh, Newegg.com. So all I do, and you can see it's plugged into the back of the iMac. I'm going to spare everyone from, uh, from crawling back there and doing that. But this little plug right here, and you can see it, this mini display port. Let me zoom in for you. That's what it looks like. So it's kind of, uh, you can see off to the left side, it's kind of got a little cornered edge. And then on this side, it's kind of flat. See how it's flat there and it's kind of cornered on that side? What's cool about this mini display port is that in your, and this isn't just the current model uh, MacBook Air, but in your current model Macs that have Thunderbolt, which is that port right there. Thunderbolt, got the little Thunderbolt symbol beside it. The Thunderbolt also functions as a mini display port thing. So what you can do, and make sure, you know, look at your uh, orientation here. So the, the little curved edges on the Thunderbolt port towards the bottom. So I'm just going to stick this cable in. And then once I've stuck it in, and you can see now on my desktop Mac over here, on my desktop iMac, it's got the desktop iMac operating system. But watch what happens now when I boot. So I'm going to power on my MacBook Air. And as soon as I powered it on, my iMac display went dark. MacBook Air is booting up. And there it is. I'm not going to show uh, I'm logging into my into my MacBook Air now and there you'll see it now we've got dual display so we've got uh, on my MacBook Air here I can drag files over to this and you can change the orientation in my in my particular setup I've got the iMac to the right side of my MacBook Air but if I had the uh, the iMac to the left of my MacBook Air, I could change the orientation. So it just makes it when you're dragging, you're dragging as if that's an extension of your desktop. And to change that, all you do in your Mac is go into uh, Display Preferences. And you can change the orientation of your, of your displays there. But just a really great way, if you're thinking about upgrading to a new Mac, uh, maybe not a laptop, but a desktop Mac, and you've got that uh, older model iMac sitting around, hey, you may want to keep it and just use it as a display because it is an, an excellent LED backlit display. And what's interesting too, while I'm using this iMac 27 inch as an external display for my MacBook Air, it's still doing its Mac uh, iMac functions in the background. I mean, it's in other words, it's got uh, OS 10 running on the iMac because I'm, I'm encoding some video there for my for my build a how to guy channel. But watch what happens when I power down. So I'm going to power down my MacBook Air. And as soon as I power it down, my iMac has returned to its own iMac operating system. So just a great way to multitask. I hope this tip was of value and I hope it uh, you know, I hope it to let let you know that you know an older model iMac, it can it can make a great uh, monitor and save you some money. 
Thanks for tuning in. Y'all uh, feel free to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Bill, the how-to guy. And uh, y'all have a good day.